Okay, another element that you need to have on your poster are, uh, will be um, audio, so sound. The nice thing about this uh, application is it actually allows you to capture sound right from your computer. So you don't have to go to like Audacity, create it, and then add it as a file. So what you do there is you click on sound, it'll pull up, it'll pull up some different um, ways to get it. Again, you can upload it if you already have a sound bite and it's in a file, you can upload it. You can link to a sound, so if there's a sound on the internet that you find, you can link to it. You can also grab it, and this is what I want you to do for this project, is I want you to grab it. When you grab it, what you're going to be doing is actually using your own mic from your netbook to record your voice. So what you're going to do is for each of those t categories, um, you've been writing last week about uh, who you are, um, and you're going to use those notes or those paragraphs to practice uh, a narrative to add to this poster. So when you hit grab it, it will pull up um, an interface for you. It will ask if, if uh, to allow your camera and your microphone and just hit allow. Um, once you do that, you see there are some different things up here. We only want audio, so uh, make sure you're clicked on audio. When you're ready to record, and it might take a couple of times for you to do it, um, you go ahead and you hit record. One of the things I enjoy doing is uh, decorating cakes. For some reason, even though I'm not a very good artist on paper, I'm able to take um, a piece of cake or several cakes and create something um, pretty spectacular. And I think my proudest cake that I made is the one that's on this poster, uh, which was for my daughter's fourth birthday. And it, it's basically um, Tinkerbell's uh, tree. So I'm pretty proud of that. So when you're done, when you're done, it'll play back for you automatically. And if you like what you have on here, you can say, okay, I like what I have and go to continue. If you don't like what you have, go back to previous and then it will ask you to record again. Once you go to continue, um, you're going to give it a name. So I would name it whatever you're adding it, whichever section you're adding it to. So that section happens to be my hobbies. And if I want to add a tag, um, this is so people can find it easily. And then I hit save. So once you're done, you can close this and it will actually load it right here on your page. Now, um, in order to um, put this on your page, you have to have a player. So click on the Players tab, and you can see the different images here to add a player. Now, I want mine to, you know, kind of follow in line with what I've already done here. So I'll, you know, search around to see if I find something uh, that catches my fancy. I've got some hearts here if I want to use a heart. I guess I could use this heart. It's the same kind of... I think I like this one better. So I'll put it there, and then I'll go back to my audio, and you can see that my player stays the same. If I click on this, and I say use it, it will put it on my poster, and then what I do is I move this image to where I want it to go, which this one is going to be... Um, for this picture, I can downsize it if I want to. I can twist it around. This one, I want this to actually fit right underneath my picture, so I'm actually going to move it. I might even just put it right on top of it right there. Okay, again, I can go and edit. I can change the colors if I want to. Um, so, once it's in my picture, once it's in my my poster, if I click on it, when I save this, it'll actually play that audio recording, and I'll show you that in a minute. So that is how you add audio to your poster.